Yes. Kingdom of Boxy. We're back at it. Going that hat man boxing. Hitman boxing, that's that's it. Hitman boxing, not hat man. Even though we know you, you must have jacked your name from Hitman Boxing. We know you catted your name from there. Try and be more creative, man. Get your own name. But anyway, I agree with a lot of your stuff, man. I respect you. I agree with the AJ Wilder situation. But when it comes to Amir Khan, you seem to have a next level disrespect. And you need to start putting respect on his name. And turning a blind eye to all the good in Amir Khan's career. And keep shining all the bad in his career. Because Amir Khan, yes, he's got a lot of bad in his career. But he's also got a lot of good in his career. And the good outweighs the bad in Amir Khan's career by miles. So you need to start giving him some respect. I'll try and keep this short. But I'm going to run through his career quickly just to remind you of what he actually did. Because it's like you man have forgot. Or you're ignoring it. And just keep, you know. Anyway, let me go on. So what we're saying. Amir Khan at 17. Olympic silver medalist. At 17 years old. Where was you? This guy was making big bread for his family, man. Making big money for his family. Where was you? Probably still a snot in his kid, fam. Living at your mum's crib. Anyway, let's move on from that. Early in his career, he took a loss. Got knocked out. By a, a big puncher. And what did he do? Did he go run off and hide after that? No. He stepped up straight away. Bang. Hall of Famer. Antonio Barrera. Where is he? Stepped in with him. Stopped him in five rounds. You need to start giving him some respect, G. What does he do after that? Does he go run off on a hype job and start fighting bums? No, he steps up and fights another American. He was 30 and no, undefeated in that Salito. At the time, he was meant to be a big name. He got stopped. One round. Phil the greco him. So what did he do after that? Did he go on a victory parade? No. Stepped up, went to America and fought a prime Pauli Malinaji in his hometown and beat him, stopped him so what happened after that? What, where did he go? did he go off and run and hide on a victory parade? you know, just be a guy with no power could have ran off and hid you know and say yeah yeah I've just beat the Americans I'm, I'm top dog, I'm a hype job yeah? no Man steps up and fights the boogeyman that everybody in America was ducking. Marcus Maidana. All the Americans were ducking him at the time. Like, you, you man must have forgot, yeah, but I remember this shit. True boxing fans who's been following Amir Khan's career know this. And who've been following boxing in general should know this. So you can't pull the wool over our eyes. This guy was the boogeyman. Amir Khan stepped up and beat him. After Amir Khan stepped up and beat him, then everybody else tried to fight him. You know what happened to Broner. We know what happened with uh, Mayweather. You know, who beating the shit out of them, man. Anyway, after that, what did he do? Did he go off and run and hide? No. Stepped up, unified, went to America again with Zab Judah, a legend. And beat him, stopped him in five rounds. A legend. Unifying the division. What's he do after that? Does he go back to England, hide, and start going on a fucking hype job thing? Start talking shit, going on a victory parade? No. He steps up, goes to America again, fights Lamar Peterson, who was a very good fighter at the time. I, th was he, I, mean, I think he had one loss on his record. He was like 31 and 0, or no, 31 and 1, or 29 and 1. I'm not sure. But Peterson was very hot at the time, man. He went there, went to his hometown with all these belts to defend him in the man's next back garden. Tell me who else is doing this. Who's got three, four belts and taking him to a next country and defending him. Even Anthony Joshua isn't doing this. And I know you back Anthony Joshua, but even he isn't doing this. Imagine Anthony Joshua just stepping up, going to America and fighting Deontay Wilder, um, who hasn't even got any belts, just for joke, you know? That's how we're doing it. Road man. But anyway, what's he do after that? Takes a loss. You know, gets robbed. Taking points for pushing. Taking points for pushing. But this guy was on steroids. How's he going to keep this guy off? This guy's on steroids. He can take shots that he normally wouldn't take. 
He's taking punishment normally wouldn't take. He can't keep this guy off him. So he's pushing. And these men are taking points. Those are people pushing boxing. I never see points getting took. I mean, can't. They were taking points. Also, dodgy shit on the fucking scorecards. And you had to have, do all that cheating just to try and beat Amir Khan. So this, in my eyes, proves how sick Amir Khan is and how much respect you need to give him. But anyway, after he takes that loss, what's he do? Go run and hide, you know, like a little pussy hole? No. Man steps up and fights an undefeated Danny Garcia in his hometown. Imagine that. You pussy hole. How are you disrespecting Amir Khan? Have you even seen his career? You're crazy. After taking the loss to Lamar Peterson, all these unified belts, he steps up and fights Danny Garcia, who just knocked out fucking... What's his fucking name? Morales. Made him do the 360. Shit. Can't tell man nothing. Tell me what fucking American's got a record like this, and I'm not even halfway through his resume. Terence Crawford hasn't got nothing on this record. Errol Spence hasn't got nothing on this record. You can argue Mayweather's record isn't as good. If Amir Khan didn't have them losses on his record, you couldn't even argue, you know? But let's move on. Who's, what's he do? He takes a loss. Yes, he gets knocked out. He went into that fight, you know, wrong game plan and he got knocked out. He took a bad loss. Okay, bang. Is his career over? No. He steps up straight away, fights an undefeated fighter in America who in Carlos Molina. Not no fucking John Molina that Terence Crawford fought, that guy that can't even fucking box, that shit guy. Or the Carlos Molina that kill Kelly fucking what's his name fought. This is the Carlos Molina, the proper Carlos Molina, who's who's sick, who Adrian Broner fought, yes. And fought him, beat him, stopped him. Moved on next. Who's next? Need to start stepping up. Boom, Diaz. Julian Diaz. Anybody remembers him? Oh, Julian Diaz a bum. No, he's not a bum at all. Former world champion. Beat the shit out of Sean Porter. Go check out his fight with Sean Porter. Beat the shit out of an undefeated Sean Porter and got robbed against Sean Porter. So go check that out. Beat the shit out of him. Who's he fight next? Luis Colazzo. People don't disrespect Luis Colazzo. You should see that fight, what Amir Khan did to him. Some sick shit on him, mate. Absolutely scored him. If he had some more power, he would have stopped him in that one round. But Luis Colazzo is still a soldier. He's a tough motherfucker and he almost stopped Keith Furman. He beat the shit out of Keith Furman. People go check that fight out as well. And he couldn't try that shit with Amir Khan. Amir Khan dropped him like four times. So what's he do after that? Oh my days. Then he goes and scores. Devin Alexander. Wow. Absolutely scores Devin Alexander. All you people. I'm sure you're saying they're going to knock out Amir Khan. Blah, 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 all that bullshit. And he goes there to America. In um, Devin Alexander's hometown. And scores him. So what you got to say about that? Oh he's a bum. He's a pussy. You mad? How are you going to disrespect Devin Alexander like that? And disrespect, just to disrespect Amir Khan. That's some bullshit. Anyway, schooled him. But he's getting left on the show for a lot by that Al Heyman. Al Heyman's not giving his fighters fights, you know. So he's not look, So Amir Khan's not looking great at this time. Because he's inactive. And next thing you know, he's looking shit against Chris Algieri. But he still beat him. But he's on the show too much. And that's why he's not looking great anymore. And people seeing that weakness, then you put him up against Canelo, who's probably juiced off his head on steroids, two free weight divisions above him, probably got stacked hand wraps, who's going to obviously knock Amir Khan out, who hasn't got a great chin, who's been knocked out at 135. So I don't know how you can disrespect this guy for stepping up there and trying to give it a go. The only reason he stepped up there and tried to give it a go is because you American pussyholes wasn't fighting him. Mayweather wasn't fighting him. Even... Pacquiao wasn't fighting him. None of the big guys in America were fighting. And he's a huge name. It's not like he's not bringing nothing to the table. He's bringing a lot to the table. So he needs to start putting some respect to Amir Khan's name. I want you to try and break down fucking Terence Crawford's resume like this. Or 
somebody's resume like this because nobody's got a resume like this in the worldweight division. Only person that's got a resume like this in the worldweight division is Danny Garcia. And Danny Garcia and Amir Khan have fought. At least they've fought. So Terence Crawford and Errol Spence need to fight. You need to stop swerving this bullshit. You need to step up. I don't give a fuck. It's not impossible at all for that fight not to happen. You need to stop fucking making excuses for these pussy holes. These promoters have made fights before. So don't act like it's not. it can't happen. It can happen. Stop making excuses, man. Listen, Amir Khan... You need to start putting some respect on his name. I mean, I can't smashing you all over. Just look at his resume and look at the body of work he's done compared to the fighters that you try to fucking rate. We are, in the UK, we only give I mean, I can't respect because no matter what, he steps up and does his best. And that's all we can ask for.